This tutorial will show you how to add records to your MySQL database using Java. In the previous tutorial, I showed you how you could retrieve records from your SQL database using an execute query statement. So this time, we're going to see how we can use an update query to add things. So you'll need to go to my website, JDBC3 queries, and if you scroll down, you'll see the code here that we're going to use. We're going to add a record using a prepared statement. Now, I've already pasted that code in there and I've tidied it up a little bit. I've removed some of these line breaks and everything. I've also made sure that my imports are correct at the top. So you might want to take a look at that. Okay, and there we are. So let's have a look at this add student method and what it's going to do. It's going to make a connection, just like we've done previously. And then we're going to create what's called a prepared statement. So the prepared statement is just a standard SQL statement. Insert into the table student. I'll just change that to a lowercase s. Just so it matches what I've got over here. Because I've got a lowercase s there as well. And I'm going to insert into these fields. For name, surname, gender and form and so on. I'm going to insert it into it these values. Now these question marks are wildcards. They're placeholders and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set those placeholders here. So I'm going to set the first one to the surname, the forename, sorry, the second one like that and I'm going to go through that way setting everything up. Okay, so let's check this works. So I print out the pupils when I run this. I'll print them out first just so I can see the database as it is. And then I'm going to add a student. I've hard coded in my student for the moment. Later on, we'll see how we can make that change. I'll just put a line in there just so we can divide everything up. And then I'm going to print out the pupils again. And hopefully, when we do that, we'll see our extra student has gone in there. So let's just run that. And there we go, there's my original database, and there it is with this extra student added. You'll see I've got the forename and the surname the, long way, the wrong way around. You can try and fix that as a little exercise. Let's just check over here, has it really gone in to my database? Let's just come out and again, in again, and yes it has. There's my extra student who's gone in just like that. And there we have it. Now, if you go to my website and take a look at... Uh, JDBC project and then go to the fourth lesson JDBC 4 down here you can see the code so far that's everything which we've done in the past few tutorials so coming up we're going to have a look at how to create a GUI and how to stop having to hard code everything into this